Vlog number 12, I got the pros today, Peyton Siva, Chris Whitehead, two pros that are point guards. Let's get it. You better tell me if you win me. I know the devil trying to stop me. Got these people out here wishing they could pop me. If they want me, come and get In this vlog, we're going to look at me training pro players, specifically point guards that play overseas. I got my man Peyton Siva right here from Louisville, played at the University of Louisville, won a championship back in 2013, played for the Detroit Pistons, and now he's playing overseas, was just an all-star in Germany this season. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you've seen I've been recently posting uh, Chris Whitehead, who uh, played in Australia, played at Bellarmine University, is a point guard as well overseas. So these guys are already pros. They're in that top 1% of players in the world anyway. But the big thing is, I want to try to push these guys. I want to try to push them out of their comfort zone and also getting shots from specific spots out of different offensive sets because the game professionally is just different from college and, and even over here. One thing that I found is that guys that are professional or elite tend to get stuck into their routines. More uh, gifted or talented that they are, they l the less they like to fail. I mean, no one likes to fail, but uh, the less they like to really be pushed out of their comfort zone. And so that's one thing I really try to do when I'm working with pros is I try to get them to the point where they look a little silly. Um, they're losing the ball. They're struggling a little bit. So they got to kind of fight through that to figure it out. Even guys that are at the pro level can get uh, dramatically better and improve their skill set by taking them out of their comfort zone and just focusing on my training philosophy, which is stress on the nervous system, overload, and then just failure, learning how to deal with mistakes and failure throughout the training. And let me say, it's not just pro players. I mean, even when I'm training with beginners, young kids, I've got the same philosophies. Obviously, we're, we're working on more fundamental things and moving at a slower pace. But as a trainer, if you guys are trainers or coaches out there, I just really believe that you can get great results and get the most out of a player's ability when you try to take them to train at the edge of their ability, that means it's they can get it and then they make a mistake. So they're, they're improving, but they're also learning how to handle failure and mistakes. Sometimes I see, you know, players, if they, they miss a couple shots or they lose the ball, man, they just go immediately into the tank and they just mentally don't know how to deal with failure or mistakes and how to make those adjustments. Now I'm going to give you guys an inside look of when I got the train with a Peyton Siva this past summer. He was actually coming off of injury and uh, had some surgery, so he's moving a little slow for a while. But man, by the end of the summer, he was sprinting, he was running, he was playing. Uh, but this was more in the beginning of the summer, not long after surgery, when he was doing stuff stationary and then just starting to move. So he wasn't going full speed yet. We're doing a lot of stress and overload, like I talked about, with the heavy ball to quicken his handle. That's one thing Peyton specifically told me he wanted to work on. And this is an NBA level uh, point guard. It was just about saying, okay, where is he at? And then what, what can I do to help him? Because he's obviously a more talented player than I ever was. So as a trainer, just trying to get him there. And then also just working on his mid range game and floaters, finishes in those areas. That's what we had in this specific workout. <laughs> We're using a heavy ball here, so this is the weighted basketball. We're going down with the right hand, executing the move, and then coming back with the left hand. We're gonna do all of these moves that way. These are all combo moves. The first was a double cross. This is a double between the legs. And the final one will be a double behind the back. This last set is more advanced. We're doing three moves and executing four moves and the final one is six moves. Uh, with the heavy ball, it puts a lot of stress on your handle. This is a lot harder than people realize. It's a really good workout too. And when you move back to the regular basketball, it's amazing how light it feels and how much quicker you handle the ball. These are all floaters and finishes around the rim. We're going off of one feet, two feet, both right hand and left hand side. And all of these are just finishes around the basket. One thing that Peyton is focusing on is he's a quick athletic point guard who doesn't have any problem getting to the paint. So we're just working on different finishes. Here's a reverse pivot into a shot. 
and then a reverse pivot, pump fake, scoop shot. This final one is taking a bump, keeping your balance and shooting that little one foot floater. Three things I would say whenever I'm training elite players or that elite players should focus on when they're training. One is purposeful repetition. Get purposeful reps in. Know exactly who you are, what your game is, and what's going to bring you value, whether you're on the high school, college, or pro level. When I was fortunate enough to play pro ball, I realized what type of player I am, and then I focused all my training on those specific things because I knew that's what's going to give me a contract. That's what coaches and GMs and clubs think of when they think of me. So I wanted to be excellent in those areas. And so I trained that way. Number two, overload the system. I am literally trying to make uh, elite players look and feel dumb when we do the workout sometimes. Outside of getting up their reps from their game shots, game spots, I am, especially in the ball handling, trying to put an extreme amount of stress on their nervous system. You know, one thing I've noticed when I trained with Peyton is if he wouldn't get something right, man, he had to stay there and he was not moving on until he got it right. He was competitive. If he was gonna make 10 shots in a row, we're not moving on until he makes 10 shots in a row. You know, if he was struggling with a, a specific ball handling drill, he was very competitive about getting it down. So that's a fun part about training elite players is they have the ability to lock in whenever you put stress or you overload them. And that's how they get great results. Number three, I would say be game specific in the workouts. I'll ask a pro player or an elite player, uh, high school, college, you know, what, what kind of shots are you getting in the game? Let's simulate those game type situations so that the training and the drills are just built around that player so it's more customized. You know, that's one thing I was also surprised when I talked to uh, a few of the pro guys that I've trained over the summer is they were used to other trainers just taking them through a set amount of drills regardless of their skill set or position and so uh, one thing that I as a trainer try to do I think has helped them I know each person has their own flavor and style but uh, customize the workouts and make them game situational you know different reads out of the pick and roll different shots depending on you know what kind of skill set that they have Currently, I'm training with uh, Chris Whitehead. He is a pro who played at Bellarmine University and played overseas uh, recently in, in Australia. And he's home right now, and we just started getting to the gym. I just met him, great guy, uh, works hard, and he is a unique point guard because he's smaller, very strong, uh, going to the basket, very athletic and quick. And so one thing that we've talked about is just his finishes, uh, mid-range, really tighten up his handle, that's one, and just getting up a lot of shooting reps, trying to continue to improve as a shooter. And so here's a little look inside one of our recent workouts as well. Check it out. Thank you guys again for watching. Man, I've been getting a lot of emails from different people uh, literally all over the world. It's been so encouraging. I get DMs all the time and I do my best to answer them all and be thoughtful because man, I know how many people have helped me along the way. My heart is Hoops for Christ of, of sharing uh, the gospel through the game of basketball and just helping people through the game of basketball reach their goals. I know a lot of people I'll never get to meet. I'll never get to train with you as well. 
but uh, it is my goal in life to use the game to to invest, teach, and inspire. So hit me up. Hit me up if you want uh, to connect on anything. God bless.